Welcome to another tech video. So today we're gonna to be talking about KVM switches. Um, predominantly, we're gonna be looking at um, a new KVM switch that we've been sent. So this is by a company called Easy Cool AV, and it's a 4K KVM switcher unit, four-way, so it supports up to four devices outputting in 4K. Um, comes with USB 3. Uh, it comes with uh, infrared remote control and it comes with an infrared um, extender as well. So if you're mounting your device under your desk or out of line of sight, then it gives you the ability to e run an extension for the infrared remote um, up to line of sight. So it is an HDMI 2.0 standard um, supporting 4K and HDCP 2.2. It's got an 18 gig throughput apparently and the way that uh, we say the device is uh, easy cool um, so let's have a look at the box itself so here it is and as you can see here uh, it's a fairly small um, unit and we're going to be talking about it today Okay, so without further ado, let's have a look at the unit itself. Okay, so inside the box, so this is, first of all, let's talk about the company. So um, I think we pronounce this Easy Cool. Um, it's from a company called Easy Cool AV. Um, and as you can see here, they supply HDMI matrix switches, converters, um, Pro AV equipment. Um, and this unit here uh, supports up to 4K HDR, um, HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2. Um, it, it's got a reported 18 gigabit per second throughput and it will downscale or upscale um, to, uh, from, to and from 4K down to 1080p. And it's got PoE written on the back here, so let's have a look. So supports, I presume it supports um, power over, over ethernet as well, but I'm not sure how that's gonna work in a KVM switcher. So let's have a look. So inside the box, we get our user manual. And then the unit itself is actually really small, quite small. Um, we've got, okay, this is very good. So we've got, on the front, we've got a USB 3.0 port. And then on the back, we've got the usual four HDMI uh, 2.0 standard and four USB 3 ports. And then we've got two additional ports on the back here for um, USB number one and USB number two for keyboard and mouse for controlling the devices. And then we've got our usual HDMI out. Now this is a powered unit, so it comes with a power supply. Let's have a look at the uh, the unit further in depth. So, okay, so um, it's a steel built device, um, looks very good quality. Okay, on the side here, we've got, um, we've got a, it looks like a micro SB port. Uh, we've got our microphone in and we've got our stereo audio out on here as well with um, an optical out input as well, which you don't normally see on these. So um, that's fairly impressive. Um, so it supports HDR Dolby Vision and uh, 4K at 60 hertz um, and a four HDMI port. So connect up to four, four HDMI or four 4K devices. And then inside the accessory pack, it looks like we've got a power supply. which we do, and we get a nice uh, ribbon tie to, to the ca cable storage. Uh, we get a remote control for HDMI outputs, HDMI output one and HDMI output two, so that's the remote control. I presume we must have an infrared receiver on the front, which we do, so we've got an infrared receiver and then we've got our button to switch between the channels manually as well. Okay, so the power supply comes with a UK plug. 
Uh, what are these? This looks like a mounting plate. Let's have a look, see if we've got some mounting points on here. Okay, so we do, so we can, um, you've got mounting points here for mounting brackets, so you can put two of the brackets, one on each side, and then you can um, attach the bracket to the wall, so you could attach that to a wall or to the inside of a comms cage, um, if you've got devices inside the comms cage itself. Uh, the build quality is good. Uh, there's a couple of little rough points here where the base plate goes in um, and you can you can feel it. Uh, it's not quite flush and you might catch your fingers on that. But um, apart from that, the build quality is very good. Also inside here, we've got infrared extender by the look of it. So it looks like an infrared receiver. That comes with... A little plug, so where does that go in? Okay, yep, so we've got a port here for uh, the infrared extension. So it's got an infrared receiver here, but for instance, um, if it's if this is mounted under the desk, then um, you can pop this cable in, run this uh, extender up to the top of the desk, uh, and then you'll be able to, you'll have line of sight from your um, remote control. Just as a side note, uh, this unit only comes as a unit itself, so um, you need to have all of your HDMI cables and your, your USB 3 cables as well. Normally I would have thought that uh, a unit like this may well come with it. It would be great if they, um, if they gave that as an option, so you know you could potentially have one price without the cables and then um, maybe have a bundled accessory pack which gives you the uh, four or five HDMI cables, probably four because you'd already have one for your screen, but um, that would be really, really useful if they did that as well. So, um, um, and also the USB cables. Okay, so without further ado, let's now get this hooked up to some machines. USB 3 connected in and we've got our HDMI out connected in and they are all connected into the back of the KVM switcher um, standard standard stuff and then at the top here we've got keyboard and mouse and then underneath we've got our power so that's them all set up and then we've got the video output going into the back of this screen here so first thoughts um, very easy to set up Second thoughts, uh, really should come with uh, HDMI cables and USB 3 cables. So just to do this test, we've had to buy um, four HDMI cables and the USB 3 cables. So let's go ahead and see if we get any output. So we're on PC4 at the moment, so we're gonna switch them all on. So they are numbered, I think it's one, two, three, four. So in theory, this one should be coming on first. And we've got output on the screen, which is great. So let's use the remote control. So let's see, uh, let's see if this works, if we can switch to HDMI one, which we can, that was easy to do. And we've got output from that. Let's switch to HDMI two. See how long that takes to switch. And HDMI 3. And HDMI 4. So we've got two, two lots of HDMI outputs on here. I'm not sure why, but uh, we're only using the first one, so Let's go in and switch to one. Okay, so that, that's all working, which is great. So now let's see if it will let us log in. So mouse is working. 
that all logs in okay. Okay, so in the front here we've got a USB 3 connector. So, let's see what we can connect into there and see if it picks it up. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got um, a memory card reader. So let's plug that into this port up here and see if we connect a memory card, if it becomes available. Yeah, so it's working in one, which is great. So now let's switch to two. So we'll just show you quickly. So you can see here, we've got a, you need to format this drive before you can use it. So we don't want to do that because it's a, uh, I think it's a, a Raspberry Pi install. So let's switch to drive to PC2. So just while we're here, there's no notable, noticeable lag at all. Okay, so that's come up again. So it's recognized it in that PC as well. So in theory, what you can do is you could, for instance, connect a webcam into that and that webcam would be available on all of the machines. So let's try the switcher on the unit itself. So we've got, we've got our input there. So we can press the button and switch between them all. So PC3, PC4, so it just cycles through them. PC1. I really like the remote. I really like this. I think this is a neat gadget because it enables you to go from one to four without having to scroll through everything. So if we just go to four now, and again, we're gonna sign in. There we go. So let's now unplug the media reader and let's take a USB stick and connect it and see what happens. There we go, so it's detected it down there. Now let's switch to PC2. Make sure that that's connected and detected it, which it has. There we go again. So the current uh, KVM switch that I've got, um, I have to admit, um, is nowhere near as good as this. So um, what, what we're currently using at the moment is that P-Way unpowered switch and none of the USB functionality like this works. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna connect this in so that we can connect our webcam between our multiple devices, which is what, what we've been missing. Um, so yeah, uh, thumbs up for this, uh, this device here. We're, we're probably not gonna use all four of them, but we will definitely be using um, our PC over there, our Mac that we've got down there. Okay, so let's have a look at how we've got it set up. Okay, so you can see our device here, it's replaced our existing or our previous uh, unpowered unit. Um, let's go in and have a look. So at the top here, we've got our webcam plugged into that, and that is um, up here. We've got only two devices connected at the moment, so we are running it with our um, PC that we've got here, but we've also got our Mac mini here. So let's get the Mac switched on and we're gonna have a look at the webcam. So, um, at the top here, we've got the webcam at the moment. We are in, as you can see there, we're in PC1, which is this device here. So if we go and open our camera control, you can see we've got our camera there. Let's shut that down and then if we switch to our Mac so we're going to use our remote control to switch the device and we're going to press number two which will be our Mac that we've got there we go so let's get signed in and as you can see here we've got our system just recently updated now if we go into our FaceTime here, for instance, you can see that our camera is clearly working. Um, so 
switching between the units will show you quite happily it will move between the units quite easily um, and also connecting you could effectively if we look down here we could connect a USB 3 hub in there and plug our webcam into that and that would give us additional storage for instance if we wanted to connect um, USB sticks and things like that at the same time as using the webcam. So that, that goes to show you how easy the system is to use and um, if you fancy getting one of those yourself then um, we'll leave a link in the description below. Um, if you've got any questions or queries for us then again leave them below. <clears throat> one of the things that we didn't test on here was the audio functionality. We've got no need to test that um, but as everything else works I don't see any problems why it wouldn't work. Um, potentially you can plug in a, a headset or a microphone and um, speak to that unit as well and then you get sound out from either of the systems that you're on um, but we, we're not going to be using that functionality um, however um, it's much better than the old KVM switcher that we had that was unpowered and didn't give us any of that webcam functionality between the systems which is perfect so if you found that video useful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've got any questions or queries, leave them down below. We'll try and get them answered for you. Um, if you fancy getting one of these devices yourself, we will leave a link to um, where you can get hold of the unit in the description below. And apart from that, just want to say thanks for watching and your continued support of this channel. And we will see you in the next one.